Welcome to Revit Content and the All-in-One Window family. This video tutorial is the first part of introducing the All-in-One Window Frame system and will give you a detailed overview on how you can create any individual window configuration with just a few simple steps. There's also available a second part of this video tutorial which takes the example of this first part by showing how simple it is to change a window frame layout. So we start by loading the all-in-one window family. You can see now that we have an RFAI file and an RFAM file. I, it's Imperial MS metric. The window 5 allows you to make 5 panes, the window 10 up to 10 panes. We, we start with the 5 pane one. Uh, we select a simple window 1 with a swing to start off. So I place this in our sample wall here, and you can see in the in the plan view that uh, it shows a symbol line for the swing. So this is by default on, uh, but can be uh, disabled at any time, either globally or uh, view related. So here you see the window in the elevation. So you can see that it's uh, very colorful. So I I choose uh, different colors that we see the elements of the window better. I just uh, set the the swing to zero. So the swing is gone, it's now a fixed glass with glazing bars. We'll just take away the glazing bars. So alright, so this is our our start configuration. It's just a simple one pane window with a fixed glass. And the first one what I want to show you is the, the main parameters to set up the panes. So you have W1, W2, 3, 4 and 5. So you have for each pane a certain set of parameters to control and adjust it. So we start the W1, which is our one pane which we can see now. I set the width and the height to 50%. So it's all the all the the pane settings, the, the, the position and the width and height, they are all percentages so that they are proportional to the window. So you can see now it's 50% of the width and 50% of the height is our one single pane which is sitting in the in the lower left corner. So we have here W1 the position vertical which is uh, zero which means the bottom it's constrained to the bottom. If we say one it's constrained to the top. This is the first thing how you control the position. So we have the same for horizontal. Zero is the left side and one is the right side. So if we do this you see the window is now constrained to the upper right corner. So by changing the offset, we have an offset vertical and offset horizontal. We offset the pane then from this constraints so it's now 25% from the top and 25% from the right side which shows you how flexible the pane is so you, you are in charge where this pane is located so I just reset this now it goes back to the lower left corner so and we activate now with W2 visibility, we activate the second pane and we set it to 50%, so the same size than the, the first pane and we say straight away position vertical from the top, position horizontal from the right and as the offset is zero it will be in the upper right corner so I forgot to take away the the glazing bars, you can see them, so take them away. Alright, so this is now a window set with two panes activated. You can see where is the glass. It's the first one, the second one. This is empty and this is empty. So as a next step, we'll change the first pane and we'll say that the height is 
100%. So it takes the full height of the main window. And then we will fill this last gap in the corner. Is the W3 visibility on, the height and width 50%, and the position horizontal to the right. And the glazing bars straight away. So you can see now that it's positioned in the in the lower right corner, and we have our first window setup. So we have three panes in different configurations, different uh, positions, and uh, now we want to add a swing. So you can here see the the page six of the manual. It shows you which integer is which swing. So we give uh, integer one to the second pane, which is a hinge on the top, and just to better to see it better, and uh, then we'll change the first pane to an integer of 4, which means that it has the hinges on the left side. So you can see that it shows the symbol lines, it shows the, the handle, and here you can see that at the moment the swings are on the exterior. So if inside you see the handle, and the swings open to the side of the exterior. This is what we are going to change now. So we go to the to the first pane, so W1, and you have a window overlap and a window depth position. So the window depth position is now a positive value 25, so it's 25 millimeters in the direction of exterior. So we change this by just changing to minus, and you will see that the swing opens to the inside. So it's, it's totally flexible uh, in which direction each pane opens. So we have now one pane to the interior, and one pane, so one swing, to the exterior. It's another great feature of this all-in-one family that it allows you to control how the swing is positioned. So we have then the window overlap so this is now how how much the the swing overlaps the frame. I set my my cursor here. You can see I changed now from 30 to 20 millimeters. I think I will show you this in the in the floor plan. You see here the very detailed graphic actually from from this window. This is this 20 millimeters. So we change this now again. Here you can see the change better. So we say instead of 20, we say 40. This is the half frame. And here you can see now how you actually control, can control the position. You can set it to zero, then it sits completely inside the frame. Or you can set an overlap, and with the depth position, you can say minus for interior, plus for exterior. It's very simple, very straightforward, and gives you all freedom you need to set up your individual uh, window. So now we'll set uh, the the glazing bars. So we'll set in the in the first vertical one, we set the one horizontal, which will be in the middle, and in the second pane. No, in the third one, this is on the bottom, uh, we make one vertical and one horizontal and here we have the glazing bars. It's also very simple, you have uh, two parameters for each pane and you can set uh, how many vertical and how many uh, horizontal you, you would wish. So let's uh, add for the third pane also an opening Let's take the integer 3, which is uh, the hinge on the, on the bottom. 
it adjusts everything automatically so just change one parameter and you have a swing so I changed now uh, the 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 hinge side, so you can see now that the symbol lines change. This is a feature of all our families, they have this, uh, it's, it's for localization. So now let's change the, the size of the window. It has height and width, so we change to 1500 and the width 1500. And as we, we set up the panes with uh, the swings with uh, percentages, they are proportional now, so they're still 50%. And so now let's change the, the glazing bars. Let's make three horizontal, one vertical, because we have a much larger swing now. So this is the result. Very simple, very straightforward. Here you can see in 3D. So the large swing goes uh, towards interior, the two other small th swings, uh, they open towards exterior. Let's change this now that uh, they open all in the same direction. So we make a okay, put minus 25 here and minus 25 here. And just with these uh, two minor changes, your swings, they open uh, to the interior. As you could see during this tutorial, it is very simple to adjust this all-in-one window family to the exact Revit window you might require for your project. The second part of this video tutorial will show you how to further adjust the window frame system by adding the remaining two window panes and will show you further examples of using the positioning parameters. It's a very powerful uh, and simple setup. I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope that this or other families of our all-in-one series will add real value to you and your Revit project. If you would like to learn more about this or other families of our all-in-one Revit family series, just visit us online at www.revit-content.com.